Thor Volume 2 Number 17, which was published in 1999, witnessed an epic fight between Thor and the Eighth Day Juggernaut, who is way more powerful than the regular Juggernaut, whom Thor fought in Thor Number 429, which I reviewed yesterday. Millennia ago, eight great mystic entities entered into the wager of the Arcticians to determine who among them was the most powerful. One of these entities was Sitarak. Each of them created a totem, which held a fraction of their vast power, and would transform the first human who touched into an exemplar, a living embodiment of that power, and Juggernaut was the first. Our book for today opens with Thor fighting the Asgardian sorcerer called Inract, who sends Thor crashing into the ground. Thor admits that the villain is powerful, but vows that his evil will not prevail. He hurls Mjolnir at him, but Inract catches it, fills it with energy, and hurls it back at Thor. Enrak then decided to join his brothers who were fighting Odin in Asgard. As Thor was about to follow him, he noticed some rampage taking place below, the sound of crumbling brick and steel, and the smoke of destruction. The police officers were trying in vain to protect the people from the Juggernaut, who was destroying everything in his path. Thor intervened and pounded on the Juggernaut, making the ground tremble beneath them. Juggernaut, however, didn't budge, with Thor remarking that he seems to be more powerful than ever before. Juggernaut said that he will go through anything or any man, even Thor himself, as he feels that he can cut loose now and crush even gods like Thor. He pounded on Thor who stated that the Juggernaut's might has swelled a hundredfold before hitting him with Mjolnir from behind. Thor attacked again, saying that Odin is fighting for his life in Asgard and he must defeat the Juggernaut to join his father. Thor pounded on Juggernaut again, but Juggernaut put him in a bear hug and started to squeeze the life out of him, making it impossible for him to breathe. Thor started to lose his consciousness and maybe life itself when the unexpected happened. The warrior exemplars, Bedlam and Conquest, appeared and separated Juggernaut from Thor and saved his life. Before knocking him away, they said that Thor should consider himself lucky, as next time they will conquest his face, before teleporting away with the Juggernaut. The eighth day Juggernaut is more powerful than the regular one, but still less powerful than the Trion Juggernaut, who is widely considered as Juggernaut's most powerful version ever. I would like to see Marvel shedding more light on these personas, and stop treating the Juggernaut as a jobber. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.